Good morning. Uh, today is March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, and as I look outside here in Colorado, it's snowing. Big surprise. Uh, and typically, March 17th for me doesn't hold anything of special significance, uh, with the exception of one factor, and that is it was on March 17th, a long, long time ago, uh, 1986, that I ran my very first trauma call um, as an EMS provider. Um, background on that is I'd been an EMS provider for, oh, about six weeks, uh, working for a fire department now, and uh, this call was a particularly nasty call, my first trauma call, um, and the patient did not have a good outcome. They did die, but the significance of March 17th has stuck with me since then, kind of like cognitive Velcro, if you will. It um, Every March 17th, I tend to reflect back on that day. And especially today, as I said, it was uh, it's gloomy and snowing here in Colorado. It was the same type of day uh, where I was working in southern Arizona on that March 17th. Um, and of course, it's these types of calls stick with you. Everybody that's listening to this blog uh, has had those types of experiences. But what's especially poignant for me is that shortly thereafter, I was sitting down listening to uh, a Bob Seeger song, Against the Wind. And Bob uh, Seeger penned a really powerful lyric within that song, which other artists have copied since then. Uh, and that lyric is, I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then. And when I heard that, I said, whoa, I got to kind of process exactly what that means. Um, and I've done that over the years. Uh, beautiful, beautiful lyric. And as I sit here thinking about March 17th, 1986, yeah, uh, I, I have the same thought initially, which was, I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then. Um, what I didn't know then was obvious, is that as an EMS provider, um, my training had not prepared me for anything that I was going to see in the field. Uh, and the same with you, I'm sure, as a healthcare provider or as a veteran. Um, we spent maybe 30 minutes in a one-semester class talking about self-care, if you will. Um, so back then, I, I didn't know how to take care of myself. I didn't even think that that type of work would affect me. In fact, if truth be known, um, I was in it initially for the hair, teeth, and eyeballs, as my friend Don Lee from L.A. County Fire once told me. Um, wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then. That's what I didn't know then. Um, and I have to, if I had to write that lyric over for Bob Seeger, of course, I'm, I would never do that. But what I've done is change the phrasing a bit to, I'm glad I know now. Um, despite what I didn't know then. And here's what I'm glad for. I'm glad that that experience propelled me eventually into this knowledge base and friends, uh, such as Dr. Michael Marks and uh, Jeff Dyer, um, to understanding what this profession and what trauma can do to a person. Um, I certainly am aware now of, of its impact, and I'm glad for that. Um, one of the more powerful tools that I've learned is the power of perspective and how perspective can help mold and reshape your thoughts respective to not only the future, but the past. I'm also um, glad for what I know now because of the fact I understand the importance of having close relationships and friends. Um, and I would say that if I had to turn back the page, another you know, Bob Seeger lyric, um, I wouldn't change a doggone thing because what I am today is a reflection and uh, the sum experience of all uh, that I've encountered in my life um, and almost all of it is positive. So my challenge for everybody this week is to ask that you too reflect back on those experiences in your life and ask yourself the question, if I had to do it all over again, would I choose to have the same experiences? So that's it. Please make this week, uh, make this a choice and make a personal choice to be happy, healthy, and whole. Enjoy the day. Thank you.